Hi, I'm Terry. And I'm Linda. And, and we're, we're the Psychic Twins. Twins. And we're here with Lucas today. Yay! Hi, guys. Hi. We're so excited to be on this we're channel. So I can't believe you're here. Go ahead and ask us um, anything. Ask us whatever you want. Do you think I'll have kids? Oh, I'm yes. Because like it sounds cool having kids, but at the same time, like I don't want to. I don't think I want to have them until I'm like six. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. It's a little late, but you know, not impossible. I, I do. Feel. I saw you don't with you? Uh, at least one child and maybe two, but I yeah. don't think you're gonna wait that long. Okay. Yeah. Maybe like 38. Yeah, you yeah. want to be like young enough to really be able to keep up with them. Yes, you'll that's always true. be useful. I, I actually feel you will have at least one. Okay. We see traveling. I mean, are you traveling abroad? Yes, I'm going to London. Okay. Oh, okay. It's going to be a great trip. And there's more trips coming this Halloween year, too. I was going to ask, like, do you think I'll ever live in New York City? Because I've always wanted to live there. For you the have to. I, we spent 12 years there, and I really feel like it's, it's a really for great For your place. energy, it's a lot because you're sensitive. Yeah, and so it could bombard you a little bit, but I think for a short period, I would love for you that's to what go. I want. I only want to live there for a short amount of time, I not, hope a, you go. not like forever. Uh, yeah, I that's you good. Go. Short time, <laughs> you need to experience it. There's this pulse in New York, this energy, this creative pulse. It was really a great place to live. If you're really an artist, which you are, you're gonna pick up on that pulse and mm -hmm. the energy. So, anyway, I feel like you're going to be involved in a project involving a charity with either animals or children there's a charity that's calling to you and it'll be later on it could be in your 30s or 40s but yes, you're gonna be yeah. a voice for those that can't speak for themselves oh that'd be that'd awesome be and it feels like it's coming in like 30s 40s uh, and you'll always be active in helping others you're the kind of person that gives back thank you Definitely. yeah I love I just guess that was just like my family has always done and everything oh wow. have they they're charitable people it's natural for I you. think it's natural but you also definitely came in with a mission of helping and and you connect your gift for performing with elevating and helping other people. And I think a charity would be the perfect thing for you to get associated with. Because nice. people love you and respect you so much. I think you could generate a lot of money a lot of for attention. charity, a lot yeah. of attention to your cause. Is there a cause you're thinking of? Like I don't know. Like animals you, or... I love animals and I love kids. So like if both of those things I, are awesome. I think it's going to present itself to you. And you you can won't do have fundraisers to... for yeah. abused children or abused animals. Oh, like the Sarah McLaughlin commercial? Yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> That'd be cool to be in that commercial. Yeah, because yeah. you're really yeah. of that ilk. You vibrate with the same energy as Sarah McLaughlin. Oh my God! And it's very caring and giving. Mm -hmm. You have a really loving nature, an open heart. Now, did you ever do anything with voiceover? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I see uh, that for you in your future. I see voiceover and some kind of animated feature. That like would be cartoon. awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the Fred series was am animated for a little bit. I just saw their stuff for Nickelodeon animation and stuff. Yeah. So that'd be so cool. Awesome. I'd be so down to be a voice in an animated movie. Yeah. Of all people, you, you should, do, should that. do it. Do you ever do any theater? Like acting in theater? It's so weird because I was going to ask you when I sang the New York thing, I think it'd be so cool to do like a Broadway play or something. Oh, that would be perfect for you. you. I yes. feel like you are going to be on the stage and it, it will be kind of comedic, but a little more on the serious side. That would be so cool. I think you you're should. That's natural. definitely you a dream of mine. You to should. You're a natural. Oh, well, you should audition and Absolutely. get out there. I'm not thinking your agent is the best, but I feel like you're going to get a better agent mm. in the future for that. Mm. And yeah, I definitely feel like you should pursue straight acting. And I even I see agree. you studying acting. Studying, oh, maybe nice. yeah, take it to the next level mm. if you want to. You're going to be spinning a lot of plates, you know, juggling a lot of balls in the future, and I think it's going to be fun. You know, you're just a cool guy. And so are you guys are cool gals. Thank you <laughs> very much. Yeah, thank you guys so much for coming oh, over. Yes, that was so thank fun. You. It's our so pleasure. Great fun. Lucas. Well, thank you so much, Lucas. And thank you for having me. Oh, oh we had pleasure. such a great time. And make sure that you comment below and give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and make sure you do that, and go over to Lucas's channel for the other part and we'll see you in the future